Okay, today we are going to make word art like it, uh, a pop art slide that looks a little bit like a cartoon. So we're going to start by going right to slide number three where I've left a blank slide for you. I touched that number three there. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a background. And we have type right up here that says background. If that's not showing, you might need to flip this. If your screen doesn't look the same as mine, you might need to uh, flip that little arrow there. Okay. So we've got words up here and we've got icons here. So we're going to take this word right here, which says background. If you hover over it, the, the it says that it's going to be about changing the background. I'm going to touch it with the left side of my mouse. Then I'm going to touch this um, circle right here and change the color. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select this shape icon. And we have all different kinds of shapes. I'm going to select callouts. These are the crazy ones that look like a cartoon. So I bring my mouse little cursor, the X, the cross there up to the left side of my screen. And I touch the left side of my mouse and I drag it all the way to the right and then let it go. That makes it as large as possible. So that's a hard thing to do. And if you don't have a mouse, you can do that by holding your finger down on your touchpad and dragging it to the side as well. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is change the color. I'm going to go ahead here and touch the fill color, this one that looks like a bucket with water or paint dripping out of it. I'm going to go ahead and touch that with the left side of my mouse and I'm going to take a I'm going to go ahead and use the red dark red color there for my background, my background um, shape. The next thing I'm going to do now is go ahead and add another one of those callout shapes. I don't remember which one I chose the first time, but I'm going to set my cursor right in the middle here and make it a slightly different shape. I think I chose the first one. And now this is the second one, and you can see it has a slightly different shape. I'm going to go back up here and change the color again to green. And I can choose any uh, square to move it around. That was a trick I've showed you in the past. But the other thing we can do is we can, when when our, when our we're in the shape, what's happening is, is we have a blue box around it here. And that is telling us that we're working with that shape. Now, if I go and I touch this red shape over here, now a different blue box shows up. And that means we're working on that shape. So if I want to go ahead and make this shape a little bit smaller, I can touch the corner. If I want to touch the red here and make this one a little bit bigger, I can drag it from the corner. I can touch the green again and I can move it around. So those are ways that we can kind of intuitively deal with shapes. I'm going to show you a new way to do that when we get to the word art. So the last thing we want to do here now is go ahead and insert our word. And I want you to, so we're going to go back to our slide number three. We're going to go to the Insert tab and touch that with the left side of our mouse. Then I'm going to go down to this one. There's an A that says Word Art. This is a little bit different than using a text box, but it's somewhat like it. So I'm going to touch that, and a different kind of text box comes up. And this kind of text box is cool because what it does is it allows us to do all kinds of uh, it opens up a little program that we can actually manipulate the word art with. So I'm going to want you to choose a simple word that's three or four letters. We can do wow or cool or hot or super. That has five letters or uh, pow or wham. So those are some examples. You can write those. You can pause the video and write those down if you want to choose one of those or you can use your own word. I'm going to go back and use WOW, and I'm going to do a capital W-O-W with, uh, with an exclamation point. And it says right here, use Enter to save. So I'm going to press the Enter button on my screen. Now I have the word WOW. So you can see here it looks a little bit different than the one at my, in my sample. That's because I haven't changed the font yet. So what I need to do now is touch the word, and my blue box comes up. That's telling me that I have that I'm working with this word as a shape. And now I see this right here, the word Arial comes up or another word would come up. And if I hover over it, the word font. Font is the, is, means like face, the face of your type, what your type looks like. And this type is called Arial. 
But if I go down, I have all these different typefaces to use. And I, I don't know which ones you're going to see, but you can choose any one of them. You can choose lobster or you can, I still have my blue box up so I can change it a different color. I can choose permanent marker. I can use Kaushan script. Ooh, that's a neat one. I'll try that one today. So now I want to just move, uh, play around with my um, word and I can move it when I, when my four arrows are up like that, that I can touch the box and move it around any way I want. I can also change the size by touching the corner and moving it up or down. And I can change the proportion, stretching it out if I choose a box in the middle and I choose a box up here. So the other thing I can do when I have the blue box up is I can go up here and do format and format options. And then these different headlines show up on the side here. So one thing I want to do is I want to rotate my type. So I'm going to go ahead and check that. Here we see size and rotation. Now, another way to change the size, I just did it before by touching the, the squares. I can just move the little arrows by the numbers here, and I can change the width, or I can change the height. If I want to lock the aspect ratio, that means I'm going to be both sides are going to change at the same time. When I change one, they change both. So the proportion, lock, locking aspect ratio means the proportion of the height to the width will stay the same. The next thing I want to do is I want to rotate. And this says the word angle right here, and there's the degree button. So it's turning the word on various degrees of an angle. And this is how many degrees, one, two, three degrees, seven degrees. So I'm going to go ahead and rotate that to have it be kind of on the same angle. I can, oh, it looks like I can only go to the right with that. There you go. The last thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and add a drop shadow. So I'm going to go ahead and ch check that box there. And you can see a very thin drop shadow around the word. But now what I want to do is if I move this bar right here to the distance, look, at the drop shadow falls way down. That's kind of cool. And the blur radius is how blurry or crisp the, the, line, it, the line is. So I'm going to go ahead and just leave it like that. So now I've got my wow with the drop shadow. I'm going to go back and touch the green shape and I'm going to put a drop shadow on that one as well. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and drop the I want to keep the angle the same and I could do the blur radius a little bit more. And now I have to touch the red the red uh shape in the background and I'm going to add a drop shadow and I'm going to do the same thing. And I'm going to make the blur radius even more on that one. Okay, so the that's pretty good. Now the last thing I want to do is I want to change the color of the word. So I'm going to go back and touch the word and my blue box comes up and now I'm going to go ahead and change the color. I can use turquoise or I can use pink. I'll leave this one as pink. So there you have it. I don't like that color. I think I'll go back to turquoise. All right, so that's all we're going to do today. And so I want you to go ahead and create your word slide, word art slide on slide number three. When you're done, go back to your Google Classroom and press turn in. Have a great class.